What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, of course, as always, I'm Eric. I'd like to welcome back uh, my uh, old and current subscribers, uh, any new subscribers, and of course, anybody's on the fence. If you're on the fence, I swear to God, I'm gonna come to your house at night. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, a crap in a bag, a brown paper bag. I'm gonna light that bag on fire. I'm gonna put it on your porch. Okay, then I'm gonna go ring your doorbell. I'm gonna go hide in the bushes. I'm gonna laugh as you walk out and <laughs> stomp the bag out. <laughs> Get crap all over your shoes. I was just watching Billy Madison the other night. If you guys have ever seen that. Um, classic, classic Sandler film. Uh, definitely check that out, Billy Madison. <laughs> I'm getting real creative with these, uh, uh, you know, on the fence jokes. But anyway, welcome back, guys. <laughs> All jokes aside. Um, so, yeah. We'll get right into it. Um, I hope uh, my video finds all you guys well, as usual. Um, how to stop sabotage. And this isn't going to be a real long video, guys. I just wanted to make this because... Um, so, yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. Uh, how to deal with or how to stop uh, sabotage. And the reason why I'm bringing up this topic now, guys, is because I'm kind of... In a way, I'm actually kind of getting from a couple different directions. Uh, being sabotaged. I was actually supposed to originally take my trip uh, today. I'm actually I was supposed to be arriving in LAX about 10-15 minutes here, <laughs> um, and then getting on a plane and going to you know Taiwan and all that. I know you guys are thinking like, wait a minute, Eric. You know, well, what's going on here? You know, uh, you've been doing all these videos about the Philippines, and now you're saying it's going to take even longer. Well. Tell you guys exactly what happened. Uh, basically, uh, I booked my trip through Expedia back in July. Like I said, I booked it for today. Was supposed to be my departure day, and um, basically, they had. I know this is going to sound absolutely retarded, guys. It really is. But I, I'm have to be straight up with you. I'm always straight up with you guys. You know that now. As will be. Um, they had my first and middle name. Combined. I don't know how Expedia did this. I have no idea. You guys' guess is as good as mine. But they had my first and middle name put together. And I know how strict airlines can be. You know what I mean? Uh, and especially you know in Asian countries, even stricter. You know, my Filipino viewers, you guys know. Um, so even a little thing like having your first and middle name together, like one name, um, can be a problem. You know, because it's not going to match, you know, wouldn't match my ID, wouldn't match my, match my passport, uh, wouldn't match any of that. So, I told Expedia, well, hey, we need to change that. So, they did. Uh, about a week or so, maybe went by, and next thing you know, I'm getting an email uh, from China Airlines, because I was taking Delta from Detroit uh, to LAX, and I was taking uh, China Airlines from uh, LAX to uh, Taipei, Taiwan, and then to Manila. Uh, then I'm taking Korean Air back, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so that portion of my trip got canceled, the China Airlines uh, portion. Um, so I've been going around and around with Expedia and China Airlines for basically like the last month or so. Um, you know, they can't communicate with one another. Uh, one doesn't know what the other one's doing. Uh, needless to say, uh, guys, and just from my little experience here, I don't know about your guys' experience, but... Uh, do not mess with China Airlines at all. I'm sorry, you know, if I have any Chinese subscribers, uh, nothing against you guys personally or your country or any of that, but just a, a couple, of handful of idiots at China Airlines out there in LA um, shouldn't be working there because to cancel somebody's ticket, they first canceled my ticket because of the name thing and then tried to reinstate it and then of course I had to tell them because they had my, in my, the notes there that I'm legally blind. Legally blind and totally blind, first of all, are two different things. Obviously, I can see, I see to make these videos to do the thumbnails and the descriptions. And you guys have seen me in my past videos walking down the street. You have my old videos of me playing golf. Um, I can see, just not as good as normal people, hence the term legally blind. Not totally, okay? So, the idiots at China Airlines um, basically uh, kind of like flagged my ticket. And this was recently within the last week. If I got the one situation figured out for like, took me two, three weeks and then now this comes up. 
Uh, so I basically just told Expedia to shove it. I won't deal with them ever again either. Uh, from now on, I found out that through calling Delta themselves, I should have just booked race straight through Delta. Now I probably would have been flying Delta and, and their partners all the way throughout. Um, I actually, I wanted originally to fly Philippine Air because or the Philippines, you know what I mean? Who knows the Philippines better than Filipinos? So, you know, Philippine Airlines. And that's probably who I'll go with, even though they're a little more expensive. It's worth a couple hundred bucks extra to deal with people that are experts. Um, you know, any of my Filipino or, or even, you know, uh, you know, American or whatever uh, country you might be from, if, whatever your experience is, uh, you know, with airlines or if you have any tips or tricks you can give me or anything like that, any recommendations, you know, leave them down in the comments. Let me know for sure. Um, so yeah, basically I'm getting a refund, but that's going to take like six to eight weeks to get the, the portion back from China. The Korean only takes like three to four and then, uh, Expedia is going to cover the, wave the, uh, uh, the cancellation fee or whatever guys. So that's like a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so yeah, I'll get basically 1600 to my $1,800 back because, um, the 200 for the, the trip protection insurance or whatever, you got to cancel that within like 14 days of buying it. And that was gone back in like early August. So you don't get that back, unfortunately. But lesson learned. Um, so unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to take my trip to the beginning of next year or whatever. I mean, it gives me more time to prepare, but it just sucks because I know you guys are waiting for me uh, to get over there. And, you know, it's it sucks. I mean, what, what can I do, guys? You know, I'm being open and honest with you here. I, I apologize. Uh, believe me, I want to get over there and start doing some real, you know, Philippine videos for you guys. I'm, I do what I can here to share my knowledge and share my, you know, my limited experience that I have. Like I said, I wanted to start before I was ready and I wanted to start from over here. Uh, but I didn't really intend on it taking this long, you know, for me to get to the Philippines. So it sucks. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the sabotage thing. How to deal with that? Uh, basically, guys, uh, avoidance. <laughs> you know, I, I'll, I'm sorry I wasn't trying to clickbait with the with the thumbnail. Um, you know, it's it, I don't want you thinking this was like a step by step how to avoid sabotage. I mean, the basics. It, you could make a video like that, but it'd be kind of redundant. First of all, it's probably been done a million times before. Second of all, we just gotta as you get older and, and wiser, guys, uh, you learn to see sabotage coming people's behaviors, changes in, in, in people's behaviors. And, um, you know, you learn to see certain, certain situations. A lot of times as we've lived and gotten sabotaged, obviously, uh, we, you know, we learn to spot it and, you know, avert that bump in the road before we even get there. Uh, so a lot of that's just, you know, life lessons learned and, um, using common sense goes a long way. Having foresight, forward thinking, planning ahead, um, you know, uh, but can you ever really totally predict like if, you know, it's it's a, a friend or a wannabe friend or a friend of me or whatever that's trying to sabotage you? All I can do is, all I can tell you is uh, pay attention to their behavior as far as that goes. This situation with me, guys, and sabotage, this is just something, you know, I don't think China Airlines or whoever personally had it out against me and they don't know me. You know, that's ridiculous. But, um you know, it's a lesson learned. It is kind of sabotage in a way on, on their part. Uh, I don't see why it takes six to eight weeks to process a, a refund. Uh, and to even screw me around for the last, you know, month, month and a half is just, it's uncalled for. And like I said, um, I, if I was you guys, this is just my personal opinion, I would stay the hell away from uh, China Airlines. Um, and honestly, Expedia is kind of irrelevant too, because you can just book right through the airline. So don't even mess with them. Uh, at all. Uh, although I did enjoy some of my nice conversations um, with some of the um, Filipinos at the uh, call centers there in the Philippines uh, that you know I got routed to through Expedia. Uh, nothing against you guys, you know, it's just the, the policies of Expedia. And this, is, this stuff is way above, this is from hand down from above. So don't think when I say don't use Expedia, I'm saying, you know, anything bad about the you know, Philippine call centers or those people, no. No, Filipinos are, um, you guys are wonderfully patient, uh, and I love it. And you really seem excited to, uh, you know, every time I talk to you guys about, you know, my journey to your country and um, what I'm trying to do to help and all these things, they're really, um, you know, they're really touched by it, you know. And I appreciate the fact that I'm, I'm able to 
share that with you guys and, and uh, if it moves you in any kind of way that's awesome you know job well I mean mission accomplished uh, on my part I was gonna say job well done but no uh, mission accomplished on my part so but anyway guys I'll quit yapping I just wanted to throw it out there real quick um yeah uh this is my situation this is what's going on right now not much I can do about it um but it's okay it gives me more time you know make a few more videos like I said I kind of take a step back because I'm trying to do the learn how to make money online thing so yeah I'm gonna make as many videos and I'm trying to you know work up my other channel too those videos take a long time guys because you got to piece all the parts together and whatnot hope you guys enjoy those by the way go check me out motivation 101 uh, if you so desire hold on just a second let me let me bring this up on the screen here let me just move this I could just put a graphic on the screen, but I'll just turn the camera around so you guys can see it. That's what the icon looks like. My channel, Motivation 101, just the guy um, you know, on the mountaintop there, and then the, the Motivation 101. So yeah, definitely go check that out, and uh, give, me guys, give me a sub over there, guys. Give me a follow. Let me know what you think. They're just, you know, feel-good, motivational-type videos. I think I'm going to do uh, one on Joe Rogan next, some of his... Uh, quotes uh, obviously very intelligent very successful individual joe rogan love joe so all right guys appreciate you for stopping by sorry about the bad news man you know me i try, try to keep it positive here but i also got to keep it real with you guys keep it i think any successful any good youtuber is always straight up with his or her subscribers and that's just the way to be so all right guys I hope my videos find you well wherever you are in the world remember this is our world technically we all are god's children we are all family uh, we need to quit uh, fighting and bickering and worrying about our differences, skin color, background, money, lack thereof, education, where country you're from, where you're at in the world, what your portfolio portfolio looks like, how big your house is, how fast your car is or isn't. All these just superficial things are completely irrelevant and they mean absolutely nothing uh, to God and to who we are as each other, guys. We need to open our eyes and and see what's really going on here the bigger picture because uh, sure the hell ain't just about chasing money and chasing girls and chasing material things uh, life has never been about that and never will be so all right man love you guys and we will see you in the next one peace